Hey everybody, Graham Welch here, WE5I, and I wanted to make a quick video. I know I made a screencast about the uh, radial wire that I'm using under my Hustler 4B TV, and um, I wanted to actually show you the wire itself and um, let you take a good look at it. The screencast showed you how to uh, get it from Apex Electronics, but I just wanted to show you the actual wire so you could see it. Uh, in video. So this is the wire. It's the WIR25 uh, PVC coated 20 gauge wire from Apex Electronics. I believe they're in Southern California. Uh, this big, this is a very big roll of wire and this actually had 170 more feet of wire on it. Um, I got this for $16 and uh, it's perfect. This is the best wire in my opinion for uh, laying brown radials under a vertical. So um, we'll take a close-up look at it. I just wanted you to actually be able to eyeball this wire and, um, and, and take a good look at it because the screencast just showed you how to get it. So we'll take a good close-up look at it and uh, I'll get some shots of that in just a second. Um, this wire, as a matter of fact, I think they actually sent me more like about five pounds of it. They spooled it onto this big metal spool, and I think they put just about five pounds on there. And like I said, there's 170 uh, feet that I already took off of it. So, big roll of wire. It's an excellent value. Let's take a let's take a closer look up at that. Okay, here's a good close shot of the base of the Hustler 4B TV over the DX Engineering radial plate, and what I have here is the uh, the wire, the PVC uh, 20 gauge wire. I've got four radials temporarily attached to the base of the 4B TV. I made an article on hamradiocrazy.com about a little testing that I did and some SWR curves uh, and the performance level of this antenna, the Husser 4B TV, over four radials. And uh, it's been proven many times before that four radials is definitely not enough radials uh, under a multi-band vertical or really any kind of vertical for that matter. It will work, yes, but the performance level is low and that uh, makes for a, a, a lot of difficulty in tuning. So I did do some tests with these four radials only attached and uh, I'd like to uh, uh, invite you to look at that at hamradiocrazy.com on my blog. But here is the wire. It's this 20 gauge wire uh, from Apex. It's it's so thin that it, it will easily, uh, four of them are in one uh, lug here, one solder lug. So no problem there. You can put as many radials as you want uh, very easily. You put multiple radials per lug. So it makes it easy on that. And I'll show you here how uh, the, the lawn's gonna be mowed down here uh, very quickly uh, today. To, uh, to go ahead and pin the radials down. Of course, they'll be attached to the radial plate. But I wanted to show you how these just disappear. Uh, it's extremely flexible wire, especially when it gets warm. It'll lay absolutely flat, and um, it'll, it'll just absolutely disappear when the, the lawn comes back up. We've had um, way in excess of 100 degrees for weeks in a row up until last week, and so the lawn has really suffered here. But I'm going to mow it down. It's obviously it's growing again. And so I'm going to pin these uh, uh, radials down, and the lawn will grow right back over it. And you can see it'll just absolutely disappear. It almost it lays flat on its own. So excellent wire. Here it is. Um, I, I recommend it. Apex Electronics in Southern California. And uh, so that's that.